Hi, this is Chuck Tomasi here to guide you through the transition from using Hangouts on Air to do your live event and YouTube live streaming. Uh, when you go to Hangouts on Air today, this is recorded at the end of August 2016, you get a message that says Hangouts on Air is moving to YouTube live. It's not going away. It's just moving there. And this is particularly true if you try to schedule events in the future. Now, in the old days, or presently until September 12th, 2016, you would put in your name, create this, hit later, pick a date, and it would create an event that would look something like this. So when you get to your event time, you hit the start button and it would bring up Hangouts on Air and you invite the people in. And if you want to post embed links or publicize the YouTube video, you click the links over here on the right and it would bring you that information. Very easy to do. Embedded links for future reference, start when the event comes up. Those two things were driving me nuts, how to find that for future events after September 12th. What you do is go into your account and up on the top, there is a create studio, creator studio underneath your profile icon or next to your profile icon. And you go over here on the left and say live streaming events, create an event using the new event, new live event button. And give it an event name, event name, not feeling very original today. Now, the important part is this type box right here. Make sure that it says quick using Google Hangouts on Air. Hangouts on Air is not going away. This is where it's moving. So I am going to create one for September 30th. And 8 p.m. sounds good today. For whatever reason, it doesn't like to double check that date. I have had more problems with that working the first click. So just double check it. Otherwise, you're going to have one now at 8 p.m. Let's not do that. Join me for a test. Still set to quick. You can go into the advanced settings and set your company, your category, where it's recorded, all that good stuff that you want to do. Same as before. Now, if you leave it as custom type, it implies you're going to be using third-party software like Wirecast and Stream to YouTube, which is fine. You can do that. Uh, but you can't use Google Hangouts unless it's set to quick. I create my event, and here's where I got confused the first part. Where are my embed links that I can send people, that I can put on my site, that I can use? They are under here. Now that I've said it's going to use Hangouts on Air, I say start Hangout on Air. This made me nervous because I thought it was going to start the broadcast right now. It's not until you say it is. Down here in the lower right are the links. Now, I have had issues with some software recognizing the appropriate video embed code using this link. What you can do as an alternative is go to the event name, click on the event name right there, and it will bring up the YouTube page. And under here you have your standard share, under there is embed, and this one. So if the first one brings up a big white space and doesn't have the embedded player, Try this one. It worked better for me. Okay, back to the page. Now you've got your future event all set up. You're ready to go. People are signing up or making comments or doing whatever they want in their software. September 30th rolls around and it's time to do your event. You come back to this page. Again, very easy. You go to the Creator Studio. You click Events. You do Start Hangout on Air. And you bring up. You invite people in. Everything looks pretty much the way it did before. When you start the broadcast, it starts recording, it starts streaming. When you're done, it records to YouTube. Everything is pretty much the same. So that is where the embedded links have gone. And that is how you start a live stream when your event comes up. Thank you very much for watching this video.